Hi friends, it's Miss Dooley. Welcome to science. Today we're going to do sink and float. For this work, you need a pitcher of water, a collection of objects, a bowl, a tongs, a towel or a sponge, and a big towel, and two labels. One says sinks and one says floats. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pour the water in the bowl. And pick one object at a time. This is a measuring spoon. It floats. Take it out of the water and dry it. And I'm going to put it under floats. Next, I'm going to do a clip. <gasps> that sinks. Take it out of the water. Dry it off. <clears throat> that goes under sinks. I have a candle. Floats. Can use the tongs to take things out of the water. Floats. A bottle cap. Sinks. Bottle cap sinks. <clears throat> toothpick. The toothpick floats. Floats. <clears throat> Next I have a dreidel. You should have one of these at home. I gave you one for the holidays. Let's see. The dreidel floats. Next I have <clears throat> just a little plastic toy. Whoops. And it floats. Then I have a paper clip. That sinks. A button. Sinks. And last, a key. <clears throat> sinks. Did you hear the things that sink? They go right to the bottom of the bowl and they make a noise. So, this is what we have for sinks. A clip, a bottle cap, a paper clip, a button, and a key. For floats, I have a measuring spoon, a candle, a toothpick, my dreidel, <coughs> and a little toy. That's the sink and float work. 